I think that uh, your typical student is, is in fear of science. Science is always the difficult subject. Um, and what's been fascinating for me in this project is the tool gets them excited. I will be honest uh, that after 25 years in the classroom, the tool gets me excited. I can't believe how many times that I, I say, what is that? What's it for? Why is that there? Um, and you know, that's, that's what the phenom can do. Um, in terms of, you know, it, it could be a sixth grader, it could be a second grader. Um, there are a lot of 10th graders that are starting to tune out that when they see this instrument and what they can, they can discover, uh, in some cases, uh, who, who else puts pancake batter into an electron microscope and finds bug legs? Um, so, you know, I, I think that they have very, very unique opportunities that um, can turn them on to a world again that, that a lot of people haven't ever seen. Project Nano is important to me because it's a, a project that we started about six years ago uh, that works with bringing an electron microscope and Project Nano toolkit into classrooms um, 6 through 14. The first year we, we trained 15 teachers. Uh, we had two SEMs and um, it was an amazing summer. Um, and each summer since uh, has just been a scale up. Uh, we at this point have 75 teachers in the Portland metro area trained and we know that that's impacted over 10,000 students. The phenom uh, for classroom use is so easy. Um, the sample load is 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Um, once the uh, sample's in the instrument, students have the ability to, to magnify up to 20,000 X. I mean, uh, what, what other tool can do that? Um, and then how would you ever bring it into a high school classroom? I, I, I think that, that that's still an amazing part of this project to me, uh, that students have the ability in some, some cases to um, measure. Uh, we've thrown samples of pollen into tools uh, through, for whole biology classes uh, that then have the ability to compare pollen across the, across the, the, the whole environment. Um, so the project for me uh, is one that allows great analysis um, and realistically, the, the motivation piece that spins out of that, creating little scientists uh, that learn the power of observation, um, that learn what analysis can, can lead to in terms of the next question. So uh, the Phenom has been a great tool for that. I'd love to see uh, uh, a Phenom in every high school. Um, you know, I think that we're getting to a point where the instrument is incredibly valuable uh, to all curriculums. Uh, I think that it's a, an exciting instrument that um, uh, we're not only excited in this region, but now in other regions of the United States as well. So uh, I'm looking forward to more and more opportunities to, uh, to use the Phenom.